Well, it worked like a champ. I ran up to the hospital and got the Sonic loaded. I was supposed to have some help, but I did not. So normally I would have done it the other way. I had to like basically pull it from the spot that it was in into the trailer. Luckily, the hospital wasn't very crowded on a Saturday. So that worked out very well. I was a little concerned that this battery may not be enough because it's got that battery management system or BMS built into it and it'll shut off from overload protection, but it did not shut off at all. Pulled right on and can't complain. So this is a two part video series. In part one, I welded everything together. And if you haven't seen that video, I'm gonna post a card up at the top. On this video, I'm gonna get started with the wiring. All right, so what I have come up with is I've got this little quick disconnect right here that I'm going to put on these wires. And then I'm gonna use this box where I've got this 50 amp hour battery right here. And I can put all of the control electronics and everything inside this box and come out with these wires, the yellow and the blue with quick disconnect on it. And that'll give me my control center with power right here. Alrighty, let's see. So, we're gonna have to put the battery that way so that the positive is on that side. Cause I wanna keep this breaker that they've got. So we'll put that just like that. I actually ran to Lowe's and I got some M8 inch and a quarters. I don't know. I may have to put some washers on this to make it fit. I'm actually going to have to drill these out because they're not big enough. But let's see how far down this will go. Yep. So I'm either going to have to cut these. Cut these off a little bit, which is probably what I'm going to do. So what I'm doing here is just putting a nut on that. That way when I cut it, it doesn't damage the threads. Once I unscrew this, it'll give me clean threads. Still hot. All right, so those have cooled down a little bit. They're still kind of hot. Yep, so that'll work out perfect. I could probably bevel those a little and make it a little easier to tighten them up, but it's not like these are going off and on a lot. So that one will go right there. The negative one, where is it at? We'll go right there. We don't need them to be near that long, so I'm going to cut these and put some ends on them and make them a lot shorter. Probably just cut this one right here.
I got some little connectors at Lowe's, but I think they're not going to fit through here either. So neither side fits through this. Let me see if I've got a bigger lug, because that would make more sense to use a larger lug. And then I wouldn't have to drill that out. Well, I do. These say that they're for 4 by 3 eighths, but I don't know what size this is. It's probably 8 gauge. I don't even know what size it is. It, it fits. There's just a lot of room in there, but I think it'll be okay for what I'm doing here. It's not like there's going to be a lot of strong current for a long period of time. So to crimp those, I'm going to use this Mzignik. I don't even know how you pronounce that. Um, this is a hydraulic crimper. What you do with that is find whatever insert you need. It'll match the connector. I'm going to go with these two. Put those into the crimper just like that. And then make sure that it's turned on in the on position. And then you just okay, you put it to the off position. Go ahead and put that in place. Take that wire, stick it in here, and basically just start pumping it. release it and it gives you a nice crimp on that. Obviously it's a bigger connector than it needs to be so it looks a little ugly but for what we're doing it'll work fine. I'll go ahead and mount that negative right there. I guess we'll go ahead and cut this off and put the uh, larger connector on this one too. Alright, so that goes there. And we definitely don't need that to be that long either. I'm just going to cut that short. Not sure if you can hear, but it is raining. And it's Friday night. We're supposed to have a football game tonight. Homecoming game is on top of that, so hopefully this stuff will blow itself out. Alright, that should be good. So This will mount in here, and then this has this connector that goes to the controller. I don't think I'm going to worry about putting a hole in there for that. Just like I don't think I'm going to worry about putting a hole for the these wires either. I'm going to open it up if I need to use it, so I think that will work out better. I think what I would like to do too, since I cut off a good bit of 
this black and this red I'm going to use them to come from that control relay and then I'll just cut the ends off of here and then we'll use this quick connect there that way it gives me a lot more length than just using the motor wires it kind of makes more sense so we'll make these the same length And then we're going to put these ends on. They're just crimps. If this was something that was under a continuous load, I would probably just solder those on. But this is just for temporary use. So this is the positive that comes from the battery. We're going to put that positive down, put that there, and then throw a washer on it, and a nut. And then this is the negative that comes from the battery. Put a washer on that and a nut. Tighten that up. And then we're going to take these. I'm going to put the black to the blue. And the red to the yellow. I'll just throw that in there like that. I'll take the breaker. Put it right there. And then we can take... Go ahead and hook this positive up. Alright, so we'll give that a tighten. So now we have this. I ran out of storage on the other card, so I'm not quite sure how much of this you got to see. So, long story short, we've got the winch. I've got the quick disconnect on it. Over here in the battery box and control center let's we'll move it right here open that up you have the controller right here and then you have this which will connect into the winch so if I take and connect that up I've got forward and reverse on that winch so this is all ready to go. It fits into this box fairly nice. I can close it up. I can carry it wherever I'm going. It's a fairly lightweight battery, so that's easy. But one thing I'm going to do, I have these boots here. I'm going to go ahead and put those boots on these two connectors. It won't take but a couple seconds and it'll make it look a lot nicer. So there we go. That looks a lot better. So now it's just a matter of mounting it right here. In that receiver.
Plugging that in, and we've got the controller right here. kind of what I thought that that was going to push that up. I'm, what I'm going to probably end up having to do here is weld something onto here that goes up to here and that will keep it from wanting to kick up like that. So today's a different day and I found this piece of angle iron here that I'm going to weld across that and then tack onto here. I think that's going to give that additional support that I need to keep that from wanting to bend this metal. So I'm going to take and mark it where I need to cut it and then just weld it across there and throw a few welds right across there. So let's get started on that. <laughs> 